This is D4, day one, and we're, inter we're revising CK at the end of a word, and it has to be a short word with short vowel sound, ending with K, we use CK. So let's read these words to start with. We've got st it k, stick, st at k, stack, but all at k, black, k, all at k, clock, put or it k, prick, but or it k, brick, t or at k, track, t or it k, trick, t or at k, truck, k or at k, crack. You can see that the CK is at the end of all these words, so you can colour them in one colour. And when we see the CK, we go K. We know to say K. Now, before the CK, we have a short vowel. So we've got it, at, at, o, it, it, at, it, up, and at. Now let's have a look at what these words mean. St ick, stick. It's a part of a, a branch or um, might have fallen off a tree. It's like a piece of wood. Um, a stack is a pile of something. You might have a pile of books. We call a stack of books or a stack of rocks. Um, anything that's in a big pile. Black is a colour. It's a very dark colour. A clock is something we use to tell the time with. If you prick something, you make a hole in it. So you might prick a balloon and it might go pop. You might prick your um, skin and some blood might come out. It's usually done with something sharp. A brick is something that we use to build houses with. A track is another name for a pathway. So this is um, a train track. So they've made special, put down some special rails so that the train can go um, along the track. You can also track things. So if you've lost something, you might go out and try and track it and find it. So if someone got lost in the bush, they would send out some tracker dogs and some people to follow the tracks of the person to see if they could find them. A trick is something you might play on someone or magicians do lots of tricks. It's like magic. Something special happens. Truck is a vehicle, a big vehicle that can carry big heavy loads on the back of it from one place to another. A crack, you can have a crack in a wall or you can crack an egg and the, and the egg falls out, the yolk and the white falls out of it. Okay, now let's read these words, sound them three times, spell them three times, cover them, write them three times and then check to make sure that they're right. So the first word is stick. St it k st it k st it k s t i c k s t i c k s t i c k cover it write it three times see if you can get your letters on the line and then go back and check are they right yes they are and then go on to the next one you can finish that page on your own This is D4, day two, and we're revising the K sound. And in these words, we're using CK at the end of a word after a short vowel sound. It, at, at, op, it, 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 at, up, at. So if you have a short word with a short vowel sound and you want a K sound at the end of it, you've got to put CK. So let's see if we can read these words. St, it, K, stick. T at k stack, but all at k black, k all at k clock, put or it k prick, but or it k brick, t or it k trick, t or at k track, t or at k truck, k or at k crack. Then we have to go back and we're going to read the word, sound it three times, spell it three times, and then copy it once. So we're going stick, st, it, k, st, it, k, st, it, k, s, t, i, c, k, s, t, i, c, k, s, t, i, c, k. Cover it and write it. You can do the rest of those on your own. Down the bottom here, you have to make words. So you're going to go k, r, ak. So we go k, r, ak, ak. Over here, we're going t, r, ik, t, r, ik. 
Over here we're going st -uck. St -uck. You can finish those other ones all on your own. Down here you have to show the time on the clock and finish off the time. So we've got 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and you'd have to finish that off to say 1 o'clock. Then you've got to show the time on the clock. So you know the long arm goes to the 12 and this middle one points to the number 2. You've got to show 8 o'clock and 1 o'clock on those clocks. Finish, copy and link. We've got the words t -r -ak, truck, p -r -ik, prick, k -u -ok, clock, st -ak, stuck. The pin may something me. Hmm, the pin may prick me. So I'm going to go p -r -ik, And I know I'm using CK for the k sound at the end of a short word with a short vowel sound. Then we have to copy the sentence. So we're going, the pin may prick me. I'm going to cover it over and write it without looking. The pin may prick me. And the full stop's already there for you. Then you have to link it to the picture. You can finish these ones on your own. The something fell off the wall. The something is something in the mud. Mm, I think it's this picture. Off you go. This is D4, day three, and we're revising the cut sound. And in this list of words, we're using CK at the end of a short word if it has a short vowel sound in it. It, at, it, op, up. They're the short vowel sounds. Okay, so let's see if we can read these words. We've got st -ik, st -ak, stack, b -u -ak, black, k -u -ok, clock, p -u -ik, prick, b -u -ik, brick, t -u -ik, trick, t -u -ak, track, t -u -ak, truck. K -r -a -k, crack. So then you have to go back and you have to read the word, sound it three times, spell it three times, write it. So we're going stick. St -it -k, st -it -k, st -it -k. S T I C K. S T I C K. S T I C K. Cover it and write it. You can finish all these on your own. Down here we've got plurals, so plurals mean more than one. If we have one stack, we don't need an S on at the end of it, but if we have two stacks, we have to remember to put an S on the end, and that tells us that it's more than one. It's a plural. Then you have to link it to the picture. Down here we're going to join the dots and write the words in A, B, C order. So first of all we have to find a word that starts with A. Hmm, no, there's not a word there that starts with A. Next one, let's say the alphabet A, B. Is there a word that starts with B? Yes, brick. So we have to write brick. So you just have to work your way through the alphabet to see if the next letter, A, B, C, is there a word saying C? Yes, S, C, crack. So once you've found them, you can join them together as well to make the picture complete. Down here you have to finish and link. The egg something. The egg cracked. K -r -a -k. Cracked. It sounds like a T at the end of a word, but we know we're going to write ED for the t sound at the end of a word if it's past tense. If it's something we've, that's already happened. The something are carting bricks. The trucks are carting bricks. I got a something in my heel. I got a prickle in my heel. Down the bottom you have to circle the correct word in each row. So we've got t -r -ik, trick. Let's see if that, no that says track, no that says trap. No that doesn't say, that's not a real word. Here it is, there it is. 
So you only have to circle one of these words in the mind next to the word you have to find. Trap, truck and brick. You can finish all of that on your own and when you finish, if you finish early, you might have time to go back and colour the CK wherever you see it on that page. Just highlight it and see who gets the most, finds the most CKs for the kit sound on that page in your group. This is D4, day four, and we're doing time, days and weeks and visual discrimination. Ooh, that's a very long word for you. Up the top here, we're labeling the clock. So you have to look at what the arrow is pointing to. It's pointing to something, it's not umbers, it should be numbers. So you have to finish off the word. It's not, I think it's a, Clock, so you'd have to write the whole word in there. It's a long hand that that's pointing to. This one is the short hand. There are how many minutes in an hour? Hmm, I wonder if you know there are 60 minutes in an hour. There are how many hours in a day? I wonder if you know that there are 24 hours in a day. There are some, no, days in a week. I wonder if you know there are seven days in a week. And I hope you're able to write those numbers too. Okay, down here you have to finish the days of the week and put in order. So, Friday. Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Thursday. They're not in order now, so we're going to start the week with, the first day of the week is a Monday. So you have to write in Monday. And then if we put them in order, we'd have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can write them in on your own. Down the bottom here, we have to cross out the word in each row which is not the same. If I look across here, I can see this word is not the same as the other words. You have to find which one in this line, in this line, and this line. Which one is not the same? Down the bottom, you have to find the word in each row which is the same as the first word. The first word says mug. Mmm, it's not that one. That one says g uh, mm, gum. G uh, mm, gum. Mmm, uh, g. Yes, there it is there. So I'm going to circle it. You can finish those ones on your own. Off you go.